Hey folks, welcome back. Spring is well underway here now and I am in a mad dash to get caught up on all my spring cleaning chores. Um, my back is feeling a fair bit better now. Thank you to everyone who asked and expressed concern. Um, so I am feeling well enough to at least get a start on some of these things. So I got a lot of questions in the last couple of videos about this machine. So what I thought I'd do today is capture some video footage of me using this to complete one little chore that I have to do. Uh, I could probably get away without using this machine for this job, but this will make it a lot safer and a lot more practical for me. So this poplar tree has been dead for a couple of years and it blew down this winter and actually broke off at the bottom. Now the problem is it's quite brittle and is breaking up, but it's also blown over into another tree that's also dead. There's no way that it's coming down easily and working anywhere near, near it or underneath it would be unsafe. So, what I'm going to do instead is hook onto the bottom of it with the winch and pull it until it falls down on the ground. Then I'll process it up into firewood for a friend of ours who needs some poor quality firewood for the shoulder seasons. So I've yet to do the full video on this machine, but um, in summary we've got it for a number of different reasons. But really, the machine is really too big for my tractor. Really, I should say it's capable of um, carrying a much bigger load than my little tractor has any right to have behind it. Um, so you notice I'm hooking it up to the uh, lower arms of the three point here and you really that's not the best but I'll do that on on level ground uh, without a significant load. Uh, it's just a lot easier to handle, it's a lot easier to manage when you're going up and over some steep uh, steep little climbs and that sort of stuff but um, obviously that's not the best if you're in challenging terrain or certainly if you've got the machine really heavily loaded. Hey honey, you know, to make the best use of this yellow machine, we really need to buy a bigger tractor. What's that? Oh, <laughs> this is a family channel, you big potty mouth. pulled the tree towards me really as much as I dared and I didn't want to come down. Um, it was wedged really well on the top of that other tree so I just hooked the snatch block up to a tree to let me pull it uh, a little bit further and on a different angle and it came right down no problem at all. Yeah so everything worked out just fine. One nice thing about uh, cutting up junky free firewood for folks is that uh, you don't even have to bother measuring just kind of get it close. Also I forgot my tape. So you can see here in a minute. Uh, I did, however, make a little bit of an amateur mistake. Um, I, I winched this one in and uh, started cu cutting it up. And then uh, shortly after that, of course, I 
put the winch away, uh, put the choker away, tidied everything up and it looked great. And then uh, I realized that uh, that big log, the largest one, the butt log that I was originally hooked onto, was a little bit out of, uh, out of reach of the boom. So like an idiot, I had to move it by hand. I could have, of course, uh, hooked the winch back up again, but you know, it's a, it's a dead, a rotten, very light log. So I just kind of rolled it over and uh, got it within range of the boom again. Just barely. So while I was in there working, I noticed another tree, another dead standing tree there that uh, wasn't going to do anybody any good. So I cut it down as well, but of course it was buried in, in a rat's nest of trees there and uh, was not coming down uh, no matter how long I stared at it like a dummy. So um, I just hooked it up to the winch and, uh, and pulled it back down and I had to reposition the loader a little bit to pull that, uh, pull that stuff out. One thing a few people have mentioned are, is a skid cone for uh, protecting the, the, the forest floor or whatever you're dragging the logs across. Um, I'm actually quite familiar with those. Uh, I've, I've used one in the past. I just don't own one. So I certainly am in the market for one. I'll have to, I'll have to get one. Uh, ones I've used in the past are, were made of metal, um, but I think the popular ones now are actually a hardened plastic. And it uh, sort of surprises me that they last at all in the woods, uh, but I've heard from a number of people and talked to a few people, and uh, uh, surprisingly, they actually do last quite a long time. Now, you notice uh, hauling these ones out, there's a few little scuff marks there, but um, this video footage was collected a couple of months ago, and today you can't even see that. It, it's all gone. But certainly larger logs, um, and if you're using you know, the same, the same skid path, uh, that will start to gouge a lot. So I am going to look into uh, getting a skid cone. So everything worked out just great. Uh, I probably could have gotten away with uh, just using the, uh, the tractor for, for all this sort of stuff, but I really like being able to stay a long ways away from those, from those trees because you, uh, you never know what else is up there um, that could, you know, break off and come down on your head kind of thing. So the old, uh, so the old log loader made life a lot easier again today. Um, thank you very much. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And uh, feel free to ask me any questions about the machine you might want. Cheers. Thank you.